Yakita Nahanutu Gaivania, one Nozuntu Gai Guevara, Nahanina Mitik, Tono Otam Tik Pipash, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm with Chiefs by Arizona, and we focus on ensuring that environmental justice is prioritized in our communities, which means that no matter where you live, how much money you make, everyone should have access to clean air. Um, clean water and access to public lands. I know for us in Arizona, many of our members, I mean, it's, and for myself and my family included, it's a dire situation in that it gets so hot that it's literally a matter of life and death. And that's not intended to be like a hyperbolic statement. Um, our rising temperatures have made our state declare a state of emergency. So uh, having this funding and communicating with our, our members about the opportunities to have solar for all, to have micro projects that are funded by IRA is, like I said, a matter of life or death. And so with Chispa, we've, Arizona, we've had um, over eight workshops, like community listening sessions with that are mono, uh, bilingual. So we have many monolingual Spanish speakers. And so making sure that the information is accessible, the opportunities and the language, um, there aren't any barriers because the language can be very intimidating and even for English speakers um, to understand fully. So uh, kudos to our team for really learning how to break down that language, break down the language and to meet community where they're at and ensure that their lived experiences are at the forefront centered and that we're hearing them out instead of us coming and saying, hey, we have the solution, work with us. What do you want to see more of as a result of this funding? And it's been phenomenal to really empower our people to say that we did this for them and because of them with their voices and their and their input and so uh, oh, about 500 people have attended these sessions and I think it's also imperative that I mentioned that we want clean energy transition but that that doesn't happen at the expense of our indigenous communities or working class or our environment especially with access to public lands you know there's a lot to celebrate but I know that if we're not able to go outside and take advantage of natural resources without hurting our you know mother nature uh, it would be remiss to not have those conversations with our elected officials and also nationally um, because we literally have people whose mental health and life depends on whether or not they can go outside and access nature and so yeah there's a lot of excitement again it's an um uh, sort of a locally an uphill battle given that our local government doesn't always support um, the work but we're working really hard and it definitely helps to have federal investments and opportunities to make sure that um, again it's accessible and that people are excited about it because we we're not able to live really a quality of life when it gets up to 120 degrees every single day in the summer. So yeah, that's just a little bit on like how dire the situation is. Um, but we're proactive in ensuring that we're working with labor to make sure again that extraction and harmful um, practices aren't being done to the environment. And uh, just to ensure that whenever anyone's talking to our communities about it, that it's done in a way that you meet community where they're at and that the information is accessible in the language that's most predominantly spoken in that community.